Hi, I'm Jared Fawson, here for another episode of UEN PD TV. And today we're going to talk about templates. You know, I think one of the toughest things about getting started in Canvas is you just don't know where to start. There's so much to do and it's really hard to know where to begin. And that's the nice thing about templates is all the design work has been done for you. And so all you have to do is add in your content. And that's the stuff that you already know and can bring immediately with you into the course. Instructure has just added a lot of new templates into Commons. And so what we're gonna look at today is how to find and add these templates into your course. And then on top of that, we're gonna talk about how to personalize, customize, and really fit these to your style and to what you already do well in your class. So let's get started. Well, we're gonna go over how to access the templates. You might remember that they were in Canvas Commons, but now they've been added to the an LTI. And the, and the way that you're gonna access this is you'll need to go to your settings and in the navigation menu, you'll need to make sure that you have an option for this template library. If you do not see it in your list, you will not be able to uh, add the templates in. So you'll need to talk to whoever your Canvas uh, administrator is and make sure that you have access to that. And then when you do, you'll just have to drag that template library into your course navigation. Make sure that's saved and then you'll select template library and all of the templates that were in commons will be loaded up in the course for you to see. And you can see here that we've, th these are broken up into different categories. So we've got new and featured design packages. There's nine templates here, higher education. There's four, seven templates for um, elementary education and then five for professional, and then seven for secondary. So there's 41 templates in total. I suggest looking through these, they're easy to preview. If you just select preview in a new tab, it will open up a new tab for you and you can see what the template looks like and you can check the buttons and, and see if you like those. I suggest when you look at these to go to the template image options page and see if you like the icons that you have here. These are, these are nice. I like the colors they have. These are the homepage options that you have. These are some banner options and these are some button options. Now, all of these are customizable. You can change anything on here, but I would certainly check and look at the preview and see if I like the options that I have. Uh, this, the style more than anything else, the design that's there. And then, you know, you can certainly change some of the wording on the buttons. You can change the images if you don't like those. And then after you get this set up, what you're gonna do is select import to course. And then it's going to say, hey, it's gonna replace what you have in there. Are you sure that you wanna do it? Now, I would definitely do this in a sandbox course or a practice course before I import it into my regular course, just to make sure about all that. So once you're ready, you're gonna hit import, and then that template will be added to your course and you'll have it in there. But that's all you have to do is just select the template library that's in the navigation menu. If you're not seeing that in your navigation menu, check your settings go to navigation and see if it's in your list of possible items. If you don't see it there, then you'll have to talk to a campus administrator and they'll be able to um, add that in your navigation options so that you can put it in there. And then of course, once you get it in the navigation menu, you just select template library. It'll take a minute for all of them to show up. You've got 41 of them to look at. I would definitely preview them. And then I, when I go to import, I would put that into a sandbox course that I have for them. So that doesn't mess anything up that I already have. All right, well, thank you very much and hop in there and try out some of these templates. So let's take a look at how I can customize this to be the way that I want to. So I'm gonna go to the modules page and I'm gonna 
select this image options and customization links page. And from here, this is where I can decide, okay, do I like the banner? If I don't like the banner, what am I gonna do about that? Do I like the buttons and so forth? So let's start with one of the buttons. Let's take this learning modules button. So if I don't like the text or I don't like the image on here, all I'm gonna do is from this page, and again, I'm on the image options and customization links page. That's the one you need to go to if you wanna make changes. I'm going to select learning modules and it's gonna take me to a Google Draw page. It's gonna make a copy for me and you'll see how easy it is to make changes now. So if I don't like the text, like let's say that I just wanted to say modules instead of learning modules, I can just delete them. If I don't like the image, all I have to do is click on the image and then right here it says replace image. When I do that, I have some options. So if I already have a picture that I wanna use, I can just upload that from my computer. And the nice thing is it'll size it to the button size that I want it to be. But let's say that I don't have that option. I can just search the web. And what um, Google, this Google search will do is this is only gonna allow me to search for ones that are licensed for what we're doing. So I can't search for everything, which is okay. I'm just going to look, look for copyrighted images. So I'm just going to type books in here. We'll see what comes up and see if there's an image that I like. This one's pretty cool. I'm going to select that one. And then it gives me option. Do you want to replace it? I say yes. There we go. And now I've got this set up. Now, I probably would do a, <laughs> probably wouldn't pick that picture, but um, for our purposes, that's going to work. Now let's say that I don't really like where um, the text is at and I wanna move the text. What I can do is select this background first and I can move the background up to the top here. And then I can select the text as well and drag that up as well. So you can do a lot of customization as far as the image, as far as the text, as far as where the text goes. And you know what, if I didn't like the color scheme, I can select this and make it a different color. Maybe I want it to be a little more blue. Um, now that I see that, I don't want it to be that blue. So I'm gonna go green here and I can put different colors on all the, the buttons. I can have them all be the same. But again, that's the piece that you can personalize and customize the way that you want to. So now that I've got this the way that I want to, and I'm ready to put it into my course, what I'm going to do is go to File, I'm gonna to go to Download, and then I'm gonna download this as a PNG image. And then once I do that, I'll be able to easily add that into my course. So we downloaded this. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our course files and we're going to select template images, home page images, and we're going to go to buttons. And when we do that, so these are the four that were there. Remember, we changed the learning module one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the new button that we just made. So I'm going to select upload and here it is right here we're going to add this in and if i want to change the name which i probably do um, instead of having it say copy because we took the learning out so we're just going to call this uh, modules in fact I'm going to put um, modified and I'll know what it is. So modified bunch. So now that's in there. So what I can do with this is go back to the home page and there's the one that we changed right there, that learning module. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to select this. I'm just going to delete it off of here. And then I'm going to go to the rich content editor. I'm going to select embed image. I'm going to go to canvas 
And then again, we'll go to that course files and we'll go to where we put it. So we put it in the home page images and buttons and we call it modified modules. And I'm going to hit update and there it is. So that's how easy it is to change one of the buttons. Uh, I mean, and you, and you know that we changed the text, we changed the image, we moved, we changed the color, we moved um, the text to the top. You could also change the font if you wanted to, but again, if you're going to do that, you're going to have to be consistent and make sure that you do that everywhere. Um, and, and that's really the key thing is any of these changes that you make, they need to be across the board and not just like one, a one time thing. So now I've changed that and I could hit save, add it to my course. And that's how you change one of the, one of the buttons on there. Well, thanks for joining us today. Here's a couple tips from what we discussed. Make sure to have a sandbox just for templates. Use the filter in commons and select templates and UEN K through 12 so you can find all the ones that are there. You can preview anything in the template before you download. I suggest checking out image options to see if you like the icon pack and design. Then you can look at how the rest of the course is set up. Use the image options and customization links page to change the banner, buttons, and course card. Once you've made changes, then you can upload your new image into the course files and add it into your course. When you've configured the template the way you want to, you're ready to import it into any of your courses. So good luck and happy templating.